perhaps nothing is more beautiful and mysterious to astronomy lovers than the starry sky. Just remember that these sparks in the night sky are actually huge spheres of gas and plasma, the real size and properties of which are astounding. Despite the fact that each star is unique and original in its own way, some of them are record holders that break the molds with their parameters, size, mass, luminosity. In this video, we would like to tell you about one of these record breakers. The Blue Hypergiant R136A1. Astrophysicists have classified this beauty as a wolf rayet type, which means that it is characterized by the highest temperature and luminosity due to being at the late stage of evolution. It is the most massive star in the universe ever discovered. Foremost, if this star is now a record breaker among its kind, then how did it form? The first way in which a star of this sequence can form is the so-called natural birth. In the opinion of some scientists, the only thing that distinguishes this process from the classical one is the mass of the star at formation. On average, the majority of such stars possessed a mass equivalent to 150 solar masses at birth. The second way is the gravitational merger of smaller stars. Evidence in favor of this point is the finding of blue giants in old clusters among the red and yellow stars. This fact led to the theory that the remnants of old stars or entire stars under the influence of their own gravity merge into larger objects. A blue star can develop even with only red stars, which have a mass between 70 and 80% of the solar mass. Both ways, in general, sound quite logical, though nowadays it is quite difficult to estimate rationally which one is the most realistic. The star R136A1 is impossible to see with the naked eye. But if you have a telescope with 50-fold magnification like the well-known Hubble, you can see the object of our interest at Large Magellanic Cloud Dwarf Galaxy, Tarantula Nebula, Star Cluster R136. The distance from our home Earth to this star is no less than about 165,000 light years. Let's denote the address of the mysterious Lady of Colossal Size in even more detail. The Tarantula Nebula is located near the Dorado constellation, which complicates the observation of the star. This is rather unfortunate, as the list of interesting objects doesn't end with our 136A1. For example, among such objects is WOG64, which is the largest cold red supergiant in the observable universe. Let's return to the already mentioned blue hypergiant. By the way, it is quite young. According to various estimates, it is about 2 million years old, which is quite common for stars of this type. Now we'll discuss the physical properties of this star which are of genuine interest to scientists all over the world. A small blue dot in the sky actually has absolutely incredible characteristics. The size of the star, with a radius of about 13.049000 miles, allows us to classify our 136A1 as a hypergiant. That sounds like the name of a superhero from a comic book of the late 90th, let's simplify it a bit. Imagine our sun, as we saw it in school books, in relation to our home planet. Now we create another sun next to it, paint it blue, which indicates an extremely high temperature, and start gradually increasing until the resulting megasphere fits 36 of our suns, and that's just the radius. But this is still not enough. Now we start increasing the weight of the resulting orb until its mass reaches a value of 315 solar masses. The value is tremendous. And if we take it in tons, we get unreal, I would even say, an obscene figure. It makes our 136A1 not just massive, but the most massive of all currently detected stars in the universe. 
If your imagination has mastered this really difficult task, you now have an approximate idea of what this star looks like. Nevertheless, the image is still incomplete. Add the volume index. It is 22,000 times greater than that of our system forming enterprise. Now let's move on to the consequence of the colossal mass, the temperature. It reaches an incredible 55,000 Kelvin, and that is just the temperature of the surface. This figure exceeds the solar one by up to 10 times. And such a process is hydrogen combustion, which continues inside the star until now, causes the core of our 136A1 to heat up to several hundred million Kelvin. What should we also mention for the complete and final visualization of this point in the starry sky, indistinguishable from the naked eye? Of course, the composition of the star. Our 136A1 is saturated with heavy elements, with carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen in the lead. As a result, nuclear fusion, based on hydrogen, still continues inside the star. This real record breaker among the stars seemed to appear before your eyes in all its glory. But that's not all. We almost forgot about such an indicator as luminosity. And this aspect is not the least of our interest. Since it is due to luminosity that the star is responsible for creating 10% of the ionic fluxes of the entire tarantula nebula, and as for the radiation of the star cluster, the figures are even higher, reaching 50%. If we equate our hypergiant to a chandelier in an ordinary sized star to a LED on a string light, then it would take a string of at least 70 LEDs to compensate for the glow of one such giant blue chandelier. None of the currently known stars has such parameters. Our sun, whose light spreads far enough to call it a luminary, emits less energy in a year than our 136A1 in 5 seconds. It should be noted that such an indicator as luminosity is determined both by the light spectrum visible to the normal eye and by the invisible ranges of emissions. We are referring to the absolute bolometric magnitude. In order not to scare you with calculations and figures, I will say that our 136A1 is more than 8 million times brighter than the sun. Indeed, after such staggering figures, there are two interesting questions. Is life possible in such conditions, and can there be an exoplanet near this hypergiant? Which is essential for the existence of life? Based on the size of the stellar giant, a habitable zone, that is a place where it is not too hot and not too cold, will be somewhere in the vicinity of 2950A. U, from it. For comparison, one astronomical unit is the average distance between the Earth and the Sun. Now imagine where our planet would be in a blue hypergiant system. But in general, the main parameter will be the already mentioned luminosity. The figures are just symbols on paper, but in reality, it is much more complicated. Even if the radiation intensity of our sun were to increase by 10%, life would remain only at the poles of the Earth. A 40% increase in intensity would cause the Earth to turn into a second Venus. Now imagine how any exoplanet, or even life born on it for a fraction of an instant, would be affected by the radiation of the star R136A1, which is many times more powerful than solar radiation. That's right, they would become a memory, and we didn't even mention that 99% of the luminosity of this star is ultraviolet and X-rays that is caused by the temperature, which makes the wavelength of light so short that the light comes out of the visible range. The effect is the bright blue hue of the hypergiant. In addition, there is a violent stellar wind, which causes the star to rapidly lose matter. By the way, the future of the star R136A1, unfortunately, is predetermined. It is destined, albeit not in the near future, to become a hypernova. The phenomena that astrophysicists call hypernovae were first noticed in the early 1990s. The term had to be introduced due to the fact that the explosion power of a hypergiant star, accompanied by long gamma-ray bursts, 
exceeds that of a classical supernova by at least 10 times. Does such a phenomenon pose a threat? Definitely it does, because the gamma ray burst which, according to some reports, occurred 440 million years ago triggered the Ordovician Silurian extinction, which caused six-tenths of the vertebrate species on Earth to disappear. Fortunately, that doesn't threaten us, because our 136A1, is too distant. The blue hypergiant was discovered by the Hubble and the Very Large Telescope. Both mega devices were launched at the end of the last century. Nowadays, scientists are ready to introduce new technologies that will significantly exceed the existing ones. Who knows, maybe in the depths of space we can find stars even larger, thereby expanding the classification. In the meantime, the blue hypergiant from the Large Magellanic Cloud Galaxy, codenamed R136A1, is the uncontested winner in the most massive star in the universe category.